Today we're going to talk a little bit about some Destiny 2 Shadowkeep news that came out earlier on in the day, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, today we are actually going to talk a little bit about some Destiny 2 Shadowkeep news, and all sources will be in the description box below. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 uh, Shadow Keep giveaway for August 2019. Then sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter. Let me know what types of videos you guys want to see on the channel, as well as a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So let's start with the newly changed launch date for Destiny 2 Shadow Keep. Bungie had said, "Quote, hey everyone, as we get closer and closer to serving up Shadow Keep and New Light, it has become increasingly clear to us." that our releases for this fall would benefit from a bit more time in the oven. Being independent means that the future of Destiny 2 is entirely on our team. It also means that we're agile enough to choose to do what's best for the game and our players, even if it's a hard choice. We wanted to let you, our community, know first that we're changing the date for Shadowkeep and New Light from September 17th to October 1st." End quote. Now, we as Destiny 2 players can actually take this several ways. One way is that it's only a few weeks that's extended, which I feel would give them enough time to fix any issues that they may have in order to release a well-polished DLC, and I could appreciate that, and I'm pretty sure many others would as well. But many other developers over the years have pushed back their games in order to do the same. I just wish that Bioware made the same decision when it came to Anthem, but we're not going to get into all of that. Another way and more negative way to take this release coming out a little bit later is that Bungie is trying to spite you, the dedicated Destiny player, by making you wait longer. It's like that old guy with the fishing pole with the dollar on the hook. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Ah, oh, you almost got it. <laughs> but this is most likely not the case. Now, I understand that a lot of people will be mad for the later release date and for many different reasons. A lot of us actually take off time from school, work, family, etc. in order to play these new DLCs when they actually come out. Unfortunately, now you have to change your plans and it could be a little annoying, especially if you are using some of your vacation or sick time at work. But just know that the decision to change the launch date of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is indeed for the best. Or at least, I would like to hope so. Next, let's talk about the new raid coming to Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. The raid will be called Garden of Salvation, and if you don't already know, the raid will take place in the Black Garden from Destiny 1. Most raids usually start on a Friday a few days after the release of the new DLC, but since Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is being released on October 1st, this raid is actually going to start on Saturday, October 5th. This will also be the time for the Race to Worlds first. Now, the weekends are usually the day most people have off from work, so I actually think this is a good decision on Bungie's part, especially given the later release date. When we get more information about the raid, I will let you guys know. Now, let's talk about the new emblems that Bungie has been promising for quite some time now. And what I mean by quite some time, I mean a long time. I'm talking about the Prismatic Inferno and the Wolves Unleashed emblems. First off, before you do anything, make sure you have some room in your emblem section on your character just in case. So earlier today during Bungie's TWAB, they actually released these two emblems to the public. If you met the requirements of these two emblems, aka play Destiny 2 during specific times in Destiny 2's history, then they will be waiting for you in your Postmaster as Lost History in the Special Orders. After you accept them, then you will need to go to your Triumphs tab, under Account, Moments of Triumph, and on the third page, the emblems will be there for you to unlock. And as you guys can see, I already have one of my emblems and I have the other one, but I tend to like the Prismatic Inferno emblem a lot better. And I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks pretty badass. Last but not least, let's talk about cross save for Destiny 2. Even though Destiny 2 Shadowkeep has been pushed back, cross save for Destiny 2 has not. Bungie had said, quote, Cross save will come online later this summer, end quote. Well, October 1st is kind of part of the fall, and the summer is before that, so it's safe to say that we'll be using cross save early. If you don't know, 
Cross save will allow you to play Destiny 2 on the same platform as your friends given that you have that platform. For example, if you play on your Xbox One and all of your cool friends actually play on a PS4, then all you have to do is save your progress on your Xbox One and then head over to your PS4 and start playing with your friends with that very same account. Cross save is not the same as cross play and to prevent any confusion, I will not go over cross play. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon and I will see you guys in the next video.